Hello, welcome to the Flomingo Show. Hello, Mingo. So this is my new show where each week or possibly every two weeks, not quite sure yet, I talk about what's new in the world of Webflow. This show is brought to you by none other than Webflow themselves. So I just wanna give Webflow a shout out and say thank you for making this show possible. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about some of the highlights from the Webflow World Tour. We're gonna to be talking about Flamingo Discover, some insanely cool Webflow sites that have come out recently. And we're gonna be doing a big giveaway to celebrate the launch of the Flamingo Show. So stay tuned for that. So let's start with the Webflow World Tour where they did nine live virtual conferences in eight different time zones over the course of three weeks. So Webflow talked about stuff that they've shipped so far, like nested collections, pre-built layouts, uh, larger breakpoints, etc. And the list goes on and on and on. But one of the most exciting things to me was they gave a little teaser as to what's coming down the road for Webflow. So one of the big ones was user accounts. So I think user accounts is honestly going to be one of the biggest updates to Webflow. This is actually the highest upvoted uh, wishlist item with over 6,000 votes to have this functionality. So I think the first iteration of it is going to be e-commerce accounts. So if somebody buys a product from your Webflow e-commerce site, they can create an account and track their orders and such. But down the road, you're going to be able to do things like membership sites, intranet, and even full web apps using Webflow. So another cool thing that they're working on is an assistant in the designer. So the assistant would be able to know what's on your page and be like, Oh, that link that you have right there is empty. It's not going anywhere. Make sure you take care of that before you publish. Or that description right there, uh, the contrast ratio is a little bit off. So you need to make it a little bit darker so people can read it. I think the idea of this is super awesome because regardless of if you're a beginner or experienced, you're going to miss stuff as you start building. So this will just help you catch it before you publish. So another cool thing that they announced was Logic Flows. So Logic Flows is going to be like Integromat or Zapier inside of Webflow. I don't think it'll be exactly like that, but the idea is you'll be able to automate stuff that you do manually right now using Webflow triggers like a form submission or even third-party triggers to help you run your business without having to use a third-party tool like Zapier or Integromat. I'm super intrigued by Logic Flows. I think that concept has a ton of potential and it'll just make it super powerful with what you can do inside of Webflow. So another thing that they're working on is subscriptions. So recurring billing inside of Webflow e-commerce. So once they have that and user systems, you'd be able to build like a full membership site all inside Webflow without having to use third-party tools. So I'm super excited for that one. So another big thing that they talked about was components. And this is actually going to be a big, big feature inside Webflow. Symbols is actually turning into components and they're going to make it so you can do quite a lot of things. So they already have content overrides. So for example, you can have a button as a symbol and then the override would be you can change the text and link of that button, but they're going to make it even more powerful. So inside a component, you're going to be able to have nested symbols. So you can have a button symbol inside of another symbol, which is awesome. Things like style overrides are coming. So you're going to be able to like change the background color, for example, without having to detach the symbol and make it its own unique thing. And then all of this is going to basically allow you to build component based pages. So say you're working on a team or I create a Webflow template, I could create all the components and then somebody without even really knowing or needing to know how Webflow works, they could just drag and drop the components to build out the page. So they could drag the header, the hero, like a pricing block, call to action, FAQs, and build out their page, and then just swap out the content. And then any updates to those components would automatically get synced. All right, so quite a bit came out of the Webflow World Tour. I'm personally super excited for what's to come. They didn't announce any release dates on any of these features, unfortunately, but I'm super excited to know that they're coming down the road. I think it's going to allow us to build some insanely cool websites all inside Webflow without having to code, which is incredible. All right, let's move on and talk about some awesome Webflow projects. So first up, Project Turntable. So this was created by a company called 368 and it is just so, so fun. It's an actual working record player. So you can like turn it on, has some fun interactions, has some great music. The illustrations are great. The interactions are great. The fact that you can play music is awesome 
can move around these stickers everywhere on the site. And the fact that it was built in Webflow is super cool. So 368, awesome job on this. So at the end of the Webflow World Tour, they did a 24 hour Maker Day challenge. And one of the cool projects that came out of that challenge was Sarkis's Zoom redesign. He is currently in the process of building macOS Big Sur inside of Webflow, which is crazy, but he redesigned and built Zoom. So you can like double click, open it up. Uh, the design is dope. You can actually start a meeting and it'll actually pull in your camera. Uh, you can move everything around. So I'm excited to see the final project. I think this is dope. All right, next up, I wanna talk about something I personally have been working on, Flamingo Discover. Flamingo Discover is a curation site for cool Webflow stuff. Everything that I'm talking about on this show is gonna live on Flamingo Discover, but I wanted to make it a really fun experience. I wanted it to feel unique as if you are inside of Webflow. So I actually built the Webflow designer UI. So obviously it's not completely functional. You can't build anything, but you can click around as all the different panels. I even added like the settings panels and the CMS and stuff. And this was built entirely in Webflow using probably like 95% interactions. And then the rest of it was a little bit of custom like jQuery and stuff. You can even like toggle the sizes. I've hidden a bunch of Easter eggs in there. If you wanna go check it out, go to flamingo slash discover. That brings up a good point actually. Everything I mentioned in this episode, you can go to flamingo.co slash show slash one for episode one, and it'll list out everything I mentioned in this episode. So Tom Becker's over at Lowbase just recently released a awesome pack of Webflow navigation components. So it has awesome animations, hover interactions and such, and you can actually just copy and paste these into your site and then customize the styles. So you don't have to like rebuild it all yourself. If you want a cool custom navigation, but don't want to build it yourself, it's $28 for the pack of 10 of them and you can use it in all your sites. I thought that was really, really cool. So Webflow just released a really, really nifty feature is a color contrast ratio um, accessibility tool inside of the color picker itself. So it automatically detects the color of the element as well as the background. And it'll tell you based on the web content accessibility guidelines, whether or not that passes or fails in terms of accessibility. So this is super handy as you're building. Uh, you can just at a glance tell if it's accessible. If it's not, you can go ahead and tweak it so that nobody's gonna have issues reading your content. All right, so let's talk about the big giveaway. To celebrate the launch of the Flamingo Show, Webflow, myself, and Chris from JetBoost have teamed up. So I'm giving away three lifetime Flamingo memberships, uh, one year of Webflow hosting, and then $50 of credits towards JetBoost. So I'm gonna pick one person to get all three of those, and then two more people are gonna get Flamingo memberships. So all you gotta do to enter is go to flamingo.co slash giveaway and enter your info. And then I'm gonna be announcing the winners on the next episode. All right, that's all for this week's episode. So if you're building anything cool or you come across anything cool in Webflow, please send it my way. Either reach out on Twitter at McKinsey Child or go to Flamingo slash discover and you can submit any links there as well. All right, that's all for this one. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Peace. Flamingo. Mingo.